Stakeholders in the country's energy sector on Thursday opened discussion on the issues and grid disturbances in Nigeria, where they agreed that the ugly trend needs to be looked into for economic growth and development. The public hearing on the incident and grid disturbances was organized by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. Correspondent Kunyuju completes the story. The public hearing organized by the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission was necessitated by the censored collapse of the national grid. The forum, which was attended by relevant stakeholders in the past sector, provided avenue for leadership of the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission and others to bear their minds on the recent escalating incidents of grid disturbance leading to outage in several states. Now today we are here again and the Commission's intention is to truly deep dive towards finding a final solution to what is a very embarrassing moment for the country. Um, I'm sure today, based on what I have said, that we have had this story of uh, the infrastructure is old, is fragile, we have no SCADA, communication problem, low generation, free governor control, all these uh, high-tech stories that we seem to repeat over and over again. In the case of what happened recently, you have city got bought. I don't think it's a question of whether the screening reserve was available or not. Was it? You had a previous one, uh, Oshoko had a fault. Was it a question of non-availability of screening reserves? I think it will also be important for us to look at, okay, the last six uh, collapses or thereabouts, how many of them do you truly attribute to not availability of skinny research? Responded to inquiries from the leadership of the commission, the executive director, independent system operator, transmission company of Nigeria, Nafisat Ali, emphasized the need for regular maintenance and effective coordination to avoid the occurrence of such incidents. We have not gone to the substation to carry out detailed investigation and we intend to do that, check the maintenance plan, check the records, check the logbooks to ensure that nothing is left out. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I stressed it and I also talked about really coordination. You can't, I mean, if you don't do really coordination, that's, yes. From doing what? The really coordination? actually constituted, but, but I know they have done analogy. I don't know how much of the notes they have done, but analogy I'm certain. I don't know about the rest. Other stakeholders in their contributions on the matter stress the need for hard ends to be on the deck in order to prevent needless discussion on each long issue of great disturbance. What beats my imagination? is that, yes, there are serious problems, but what about those things that we can control? You have a vast network, the biggest country, population and otherwise, in Africa. And we do not have maintenance management software. It is still manual. So the studies we have been using mass and material 1992 uh, data for the lines, NG to Java is this, Java to this is that. Nobody had gone back to check what exactly, whether what mass and materials put together were correct or not. Data and information, because like I said, if we calculate what the SO has captured as the grid collapse from 2015 to date, and the one the private sector is capturing is, is different. If you go to the, uh, um, the daily brokers, it's possible some of the grid collapse or grid disturbance or grid uh, whatever nomenclature we give it to is not properly captured. The commission at the end of the public hearing is expected to come up with appropriate recommendations that will keep all stakeholders on their toe for optimal performance of the national grid for socio-economic development in Nigeria. From Abuja, Kule, 
Ujo, Galaxy TV.